Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I have another SV Spotlight video for you guys and I just want to clarify some things and like I guess the rules or steps on how you can get entered into this um, whole series and first of all, there aren't really rules you have to follow these are just some steps um, on how you can get into this episode and basically on how you can get me to notice your videos because um, me personally, I don't really care if you follow the rules that I'm talking about I just want to see if you have great content and if you deserve the shout out. That's what I do not like about shout out series is, is the fact that no matter how good your content is, how hard you work, some people can do nothing, just follow the rules and get a shout out. I don't want that. I want to encourage you guys to not just subscribe to my channel or like, or stay active on my channel or do stuff like that. I want you guys to improve your own content and so you can get better from there. So some of the channels I mentioned in this video actually didn't like do the steps or rules that I mentioned in my last SV Spotlight video. They're, they just have good content and I just wanted to shut them out. So there's a couple ways you can do this is one way it's pretty simple. All you have to do is upload a video. It can be on anything and just put hashtag SV Spotlight in the tags, descriptions and title. If you want to help me out, you can also put my channel. Uh, link in the description as well or mention in the video about the series but that's not uh, necessary but what this does is when i search up hashtag sv spotlight in the youtube search i can see videos that are made for this series so that i can see um, some new channels that i haven't seen before this is just a way to get discovered because obviously if you don't do this there's probably no way i can really see your video uh, besides the next method i'm going to be talking about so another way you can get me to notice your videos is just tweeting it out to me on Twitter. Uh, make sure to like actually put it in my handle on Twitter or maybe even Instagram so that I can actually be tagged in the in the tweet that you're tweeting and so that I can actually see the video. And yeah, that's about it. That's really all the rules. You don't even have to do that, honestly. You can just comment below actually if you want me to see your channel. But yeah, I'm just gonna get into the video. I actually have 10 channels this month because there's so many. Um, some of them did not enter or you know do any of those uh, methods that I was talking about. Some of them are just really good channels that I I just grew to like and they don't even have a lot of subscribers for some reason I'm not sure why but um, a lot of these channels vary. Um, some are gaming channels, some are vlogging channels, uh, some are tutorial channels, some are entertainment channels, there's a bunch of them. So I'm just going to be talking about that right now and instead of um, playing a video after you know I talk about a channel I'm actually gonna just display the video in the bottom right so you guys can see more of the video and you can hear me like talking more and so you can get along with your lives and you know this video is gonna be shorter I'm gonna start off with some of the channels that did not enter just because I believe that they were probably the best channels um, one I have here let me check is JR Alley this guy is a filmmaker He's like 16 or 17, I'm not sure, but his videos are so good. And I don't know why he does not have 100k because his videos are like, he talks over them, like commentary type, not, not really commentary, but it's like a narration and it sounds really deep. It's like poet, like poetry and like cool stuff. And if you see the video I don't know, on the bottom right or left, you can see how like really good they look and how well he's like been editing. And I've seen his videos for actually the past two years actually um i just decided to shout him out now because his his editing has like improved so much i just want to shout him out for like all the hard work he's put in and he gives good advice like his last video actually helped me out a lot next channel i have here is justin reeves so this guy is a vlogger but he also gives advice on vlogging and filmmaking and stuff like that and he's really entertaining he's very consistent with his videos i believe he's on like his 300th um vlog and he doesn't have a lot of subscribers at all. Let me actually check how much subscribers he has because like, I know it's really low. Like some reason it's really low. So he actually only has 1,600 followers. I mean, I mean uh, subscribers and he's on his 167th vlog and his videos you see are really energetic. He's, he's never like, it's not like a boring vlog. It's always a happy vlog. And that's what I like about him. And he's consistent. He just, I don't know why he doesn't have a lot because he posts a lot of videos like I can keep scrolling down his videos and he just has a lot and he's helped me with a lot of camera work actually he recommends like cameras especially for my camera since he uses it he recommends lenses and like stuff like that just to help um, 
other vloggers out and since i you know in getting into that type of stuff i really enjoy his content another filmmaking channel is um narwhal the narwhal i shouted him out in i believe my second episode or third episode but he has improved at, like since then like by a lot um i didn't really like his editing back then but this is a lot more cleaner and this is just a video from his twitter like somewhere here um it's it's beautiful it's it's so good and he went to film school for like a month or two i think he dropped out i'm not sure he really really deserves a lot more subscribers than he's getting um, I, I think it's demotivating him the amount of subscribers he has because i know he puts in so much work i've seen his videos for the past two years as well and it's it's really sad to see a channel that works so hard not get the recognition it really needs i guess or deserves i actually want to talk about tempers he just hit 10k he was on my second or third episode i believe of this sc spotlight video and when he when i shouted him out he had 2k subscribers and that was only a couple months ago so i just want to like yo that's that's big he's at 10k now and that's a big milestone I just want to shout him out next channel it's actually from a person who did enter using the methods his name is equity or equity equity i don't know e-q-u-i-t-y he makes um call of duty videos i know that's very generic but he's young he he has a lot of passion for it he i believe he makes other gaming videos i'm pretty sure he does he probably makes overwatch videos as well and he's very energetic very entertaining and these are the type of videos i like and especially since he's consistent and he doesn't upload like every once a month he uh, actually uploads um, like every two days which is impressive um since you know teenagers do go you know through school and stuff like that it's impressive that you know he's been consistent through time he started in the summer um that's usually when a lot of people start and i just want to shout him out because his branding's getting there his thumbnails are getting there he just needs a little push um so if you guys can help him out help him out and like give him some feedback um through like any of the channels that you see if you see that they need any help in any way maybe they need an intro you can help them out um i really just want to start a community in the comment sections like around my channel so that you guys can uh, make the best content that you possibly can uh, through the help of other people you know help other people make the better be like the best content they can um i just really want to create that so sort of uh, community here the next channel i have here is k nubs i'm not I, I some reason i know his channel from somewhere maybe someone shouted him out but i do know his channel from somewhere maybe i see him on twitter so much but um he's just recently started on youtube a month ago and he makes sort of like entertainment videos um most like half of it is like unique you know creative ideas and the other one is more generic type of stuff so like roast yourself challenge um more popular challenges so if you're interested in unique content as well as some things that you know are popular and trending um this is a perfect channel for you his branding is getting there as you can see his his youtube channel art and like thumbnails are getting there but he's only been on youtube for a month so what he does have and the fact that he uploads every three days really proves that he is working hard and he wants to you know continue this on youtube so that's really cool that um i can just like i have the power to help someone out that's just great um in my opinion next channel i have here is dill pickle but the dill is spelled with d-y um l i'm not sure if maybe it's dial pickle i don't know um he also makes gaming videos um he posts quite frequently as well um yeah it's similar to the other channel i mentioned uh very entertaining very energetic i've seen this guy all over twitter because he tweets out um this like a video he posted for the su spotlight and that's great um so yeah that's one way you can do it you can you know go on twitter and stuff and post it and so i can see it and like you'll see a video right there and really entertaining all of the channels will be in the description and another channel is nihal I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong 1983 or 1983 and i think the reason he doesn't have a lot of subscribers is for the fact that he has an accent and he's not really good at english i'm sure it's his second language but his videos are super clean i'm sure if he spoke uh fluent english he'd like uh, you know get a lot more views that's just the sad truth um but like his videos are really clean i just like the layout of it like the camera's on point the lighting's on point everything is everything looks good visually like it's just like perfect laid out like his thumbnails look good his titles and descriptions are there like everything about his channel is clean and for some strange reason he has 200 subscribers 
Uh, maybe it's the fact that he's only been on YouTube for two months, but I don't think that's the reason. Um, I think it's because his accent. However, just like looking at his videos, like if you if you remove the name, if you remove like everything and just like the titles and the thumbnail, even just remove the audio, you know it's a good video. Like I don't even have to listen to his videos to know that it's a good video. Just just like looking at it, like it's just so clean. I some something about like 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 it just looks so clean. And another channel is Vin Dang. He's actually helping me on my Facebook page as well, but that's not the reason why I shouted him out. It's his videos are clean as well. He makes tech videos, makes advice videos. He actually helped me with um um talking. He actually helped me with lenses, so I'm deciding to get a Sigma, I think 18 to 35 millimeter. And he has like this series called YouTube University where he talks about um some of the things that um, big YouTubers use and like. How stuff works and so one is a very popular lens called the 18 to 35 millimeter f 1.8 um, lens by Sigma and he talks about the uses for it what it's good for why people use it some of the benefits some of the cons the pricing stuff like that and I really like that series it's probably my favorite series of his and his videos are also very clean like I talked about before and the ninth channel I believe sorry if we don't have 10 channels or maybe I have 11 I'm not really sure I didn't really count I just guessed it as 10 and I said it um, we have Hussein, so he makes FIFA videos and entertainment videos. Um, I compare him to Morgs, but he's not really there yet. Uh, Morgs is actually like blew up. I don't know, like he's probably a million subs right now, but a uh, really cool guy. Um, Hussein, man, like this guy's videos, like I don't know, he's so young and it looks like he has a lot of potential, and it it just looks like he's 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 starting like really well so far. Like he's getting views. Like let's see how much he averages per like video he's getting about like two like some of his videos some of his videos he's getting like 800 like some videos get 2k and it looks like he has a shout out series of his own he does not only fifa videos he also, he also does in real life videos facts videos some tutorials so it's you know it's a lot of content and so you can check that out and yeah um next channel last channel let's see and the last channel was a no-brainer. His name is Skirt Artworks. And it's, once again, a very, very clean channel. He makes speed arts and the graphic design videos. And I looked at two of, like, two of his videos thumbnails and I knew I had to feature him. It's just very clean. And I'm sure he's going to make tutorials soon. But right now, he only makes speed arts and like color correction, you know, uh, packs and graphics packs right now. And he also has a Twitter because you know most graphic design channels have twitters and you can check it out and it's just so clean i just show like some of the speed arts like but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i really really do appreciate all the support i'm getting we're almost at 50k subscribers so if you guys did enjoy this video um, hit the thumbs up button my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one